Hello, incredible one, Darnielle A. Jervy here. So excited to be back with you for the second video in my Sell the Incredible training series for you. And I have to tell you, first and foremost, I'm really, really super excited about these videos. And I designed them just kind of like off the cuff, just to keep it completely real with you. I literally just decided at the last minute, you know what, I haven't done very many new videos in 2016. And I wanted to take this opportunity to really just teach some real content for you. And I'm doing this because I know that you suck at sales. And I'm pissed off and frustrated because the, the statistics around small business tell me that you suck in sales. I mean, come on, why else would it be that out of 23 million non-employer entities, which we like to call solopreneurs in the country, that only roughly 10% of them are making in excess of $50,000. And if you talk about the number that are actually making $100,000 or greater, that's like 4%. And it goes down from there and there and there. And the only thing that I can think of that makes this so is because you suck at sales. I wanna to talk to you in this particular video about the three reasons why your sales game aren't tight. Cause it really is a game. It is really about understanding how to connect with the clients that you wanna serve and how to offer them products and services that they deem to be valuable. So valuable, in fact, that they are willing to make an investment. But before I jump into the three reasons, let me just give you a quick backup of what we talked about on video number one. So video number one was really all about the massive mindset shift you're going to need to make, right? The fact that sales is not a dirty word and it's as honorable to sell as it is to buy is essential. And you're gonna have to shift your come from, meaning you're gonna have to stop looking at yourself as this title and really shift into being a servant but also shifting your mindset to know that as a servant, you deserve to be rewarded financially and spiritually for what you generate and bring to the table for those that you serve. So if you haven't watched the first video, I invite you to go back to the blog and check out video number one. Now we're doing this, like I said, off the cuff. So we don't have a, a, a whole bunch of uh, fluff and pomp and circumstance for you. I just really wanna give you some great content. So now onto today's video. Today is really all about the three reasons why your sales game isn't tight. Okay, I have to be honest with you. It really, as I stated in video number one, frustrates me to no end that we even have to have this conversation. But because your mindset is not geared towards sales, it's messing you up in so many massive ways and you are just, you're floundering in the process. Like if you are even having sales conversations and most of you are doing everything you possibly can to avoid having sales conversations, <laughs> for those of you who are actually having them, you're missing the mark. Your conversion rate is like one in 10. That sucks. That's why your sales game sucks. So let's, let's jump into the three reasons why your sales game isn't tight. Number one, your sales game isn't tight because you don't see yourself as a valuable solution to the problem that your ideal clients have, period. You, you, you see yourself as a commodity. You see yourself as a dime a dozen, just like every other fill in the blank out there. Instead of demonstrating what makes you different and what makes you valuable, right? People are programmed to notice what's different. When you show up differently, when you have an air of confidence about you, when your results speak for themselves, you will be seen as different and you will come to the table with a different level of energy, which will create an environment for you to be able to position yourself effectively to get that client to understand the value that you bring to the table. Which as kind of a sidebar brings me to the point of your value. You're not charging enough. This isn't even one of my top three reasons why your sales game isn't tight, but it is definitely an offshoot. You don't see yourself as valuable because you wanna charge peanuts for what you bring to the table. This is something I'm always working with on my clients. You can see I'm, I'm like amped up about it. You have to think about the value, not in the moment, but the value for the long term. If you are offering your clients transferable skills that once they learn it from you, they can use it over and over and over and over again, you have to make sure that the return on the investment and the value that you represent is demonstrative in the rate that you charge them to get access to what you want. No doubt we live in an information society, right? Any of us can go to the University of Google and type something in and get access to information, right? 
But the difference in those who hire you is that they don't want to do that. They'd much rather come to you, a person who has developed a clear, proven system to help them to get the result, saving them time, money, and energy, right? So if you have been able to shortcut the process for these people, why aren't you charging them what you need to charge? Why don't you see yourself as a valuable solution provider? This is the second mindset shift you're going to need to make in order to tighten your sales game. Number two, the number two reason why your sales game isn't tight is because you fear rejection. That's it, I said it. I mean, we're only born with two fears, but most of us fear being rejected for one reason or another, and that keeps us stuck on stupid in our business. I'm sorry if you feel like that was a little bit too harsh, but the fact of the matter is this, as long as you fear being rejected, you are not gonna tighten your sales game and you're not gonna welcome the clients you truly wanna serve. Because here's the thing, you are not for everybody. And it's okay, when someone says no, they are first and foremost not saying no to you. What they are saying is that they are not ready to experience transformation through you. That changes everything, does it? So think about it from that vantage point. Do you really want a client who is not ready to experience transformation from you? Hell no, you don't want them. So let them go. So stop fearing rejection. It's part of the process. Business, and by and large, is a numbers game. I remember when I first started my Mary Kay Cosmetics business, I had never been a quote unquote salesperson before in my life, although life is a transaction and I sold people every single day, I had never considered myself a salesperson. So here I am, tubes of lipstick, skincare, all of that, how am I gonna sell? I remember my very first sales director saying to me, Darnielle, I'm gonna challenge you to get 50 no's, right? And that's my challenge for you. I'm gonna challenge you to get 50 no's, Darnielle, because I know that if you get 50 no's, you're gonna toughen your skin, and you're gonna realize they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting the product, and you're gonna keep finding people who wanna be served by you. So that's what I'm saying to you, Incredible One. I want you to get 50 no's. That's your assignment after watching this video to set yourself up to have 50 people tell you no. Okay, so here's the thing. I've done this challenge with my clients at Incredible Factor University for the past five years. And no one ever gets 50 no's. But what they get instead are new clients, new speaking opportunities, new opportunities to generate revenue in their business. Could you get excited about getting some revenue that you weren't expecting because you were going for the no. So I'm gonna encourage you to not be afraid of rejection, but instead look rejection in the face and say, you know what, I don't want you anyway if you're not ready to experience transformation through me. And number three, the number three reason why your sales game isn't tight is because you're talking to anybody. Anyone who raises their hand and says yes, Tell me what you got. You're talking to them without doing the work to pre-qualify your client. Listen, listen to me. You have to take the time to determine your ideal client and your ideal client status. If you, don't, if you just rush into a sales conversation with any old body, you're gonna get any old result. But if you truly wanna master sales, you need to be talking to people who have the problem that you solve that are ready right now to pay for a solution to that problem. If you're not doing these three things, this is why your sales suck, this is why your sales game isn't tight, but that's all about to change. So when you look on this page, at this video, at this blog post, I want you to notice that I have an assignment for you. These assignments are just me giving back to you, offering you pure content of things that you can change today in order to tighten your sales game. This is all a precursor leading up to my amazing two-day intensive, which is being held in November of 2016 in Northern Virginia to help you to sell the incredible and tighten your sales game. I am going to be teaching so many amazing strategies to help you to build a sales management system that prevents you from ever again experiencing feast or famine in your business. Can you get excited about never again having feast or famine? Having a pipeline at, at the onset of this process, having a pipeline that is deep enough to allow you to, be, to actually achieve your business building goals for the next two to three years. Are you excited? Because this is what's happening at sellTheIncredible.com if you want to learn a little bit more about that. But now back to the assignment. So my assignment for you is simple. I am challenging you to get 50 no's. 
to get 50 people to tell you no to your products and services. I'm gonna give you a little hint. Before you're gonna be ready to get a no, my recommendation is that you do some due diligence and get very, very clear about the value you provide and what it is you bring to the table and more importantly, the problem that you solve for other people. If you do those three things before you start going out for the no's, you will get some no's, but you're gonna get some yeses too. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and leave me a comment and let other people know that I'm sharing real content about how to tighten your sales game. Again, I know it's a problem because I looked at the statistics. I don't believe everything that I see on social media. Everybody who says it's raining in their business, it is not raining for everybody in their business. Look at the statistics. Only 10% of you are actually making 50,000 or greater in your business. Only 10% of all of the non-employers or solopreneurs in the country. I'm doing my part to do something about it. So I wanna thank you for joining me for this video. I'll see you real soon on video number three. Get your assignment done and share with someone that there's real strategy being offered for how you can tighten your sales game. This has been Darnell A. Jervie, and I, wanna, I can't wait to see you next time. Take care.